Hello everybody and welcome back to Magna Carta 2. In the last video we came out here to Navy Blue Marsh in order to finish up some of the quests that we had accepted in and around Kota Mare. And from this pillar we're going to head north towards Dunan Hill. Our first objective is going to be to look for the Northern Forces soldiers that are rumored to be around this area. One of the Mare people were concerned about their whereabouts and what they've been up to, so we're gonna do that. You can pick up that chest by heading directly west from where the pillar icon is on the map. All right. And from here Let's there go. shouldn't be any more chests or anything to collect, we're just going to clear the way over towards where the soldiers are. So you can choose to defeat the enemies or not to defeat them. You need to defeat the Miris for a part of Celestine's potion. So if you haven't collected everything that you need from them, feel free to do that before we return to Kotomare. You might also need to defeat these creatures if you're looking for the common shards that the Neko Neko people asked us to get. And when you find the soldiers, you're most likely going to be in a little bit of a uh, encounter with both the soldiers and the uh, Miri creatures, so just keep that in mind. Fortunately, at this point, we're just fighting regular run-of-the-mill soldiers, nothing to really worry about. So that will make things a little bit easier for us. Call me if you're ever in danger. I tried chaining and failed miserably. So I'll probably just stick to regular attacks. I've also switched uh, Zephy into my party, just because Crocell obviously just won't do so well in this area. But I've put a belt of experience on him so that he gets a little bit of experience so that he doesn't fall too far behind. I've got to try and take care of the soldiers first though, because they're the ones that are going to do the most damage. And as you can see, they've teamed up on Zephy, and she's almost dead, so that's something you really got to be very careful of. These enemies aren't very difficult, but strength in numbers, uh, so you, you do need to really watch out for that. And she can heal, but she doesn't always get the opportunity to, especially if she's got low con. So luckily she healed herself up, I didn't have to use an item or anything like that. I'm gonna take care of the last of these little creatures here, and once we're out of battle mode, we should get a little pop-up for defeating the soldiers. Because after we've done that, we've successfully finished that quest. You get Northern Forces Operation Orders. One of them drops them, so we need to bring them to Kotomare and inform the Mari people that something indeed was going on. It doesn't really specify what the Operation Orders say. So I'm going to cut and I'm going to fast travel back to Kotomare. Before I do that though, I'm going to collect this mystery mushroom. Celestine needed two of them for a potion, and now that we've got this one, we should have everything that we need yes, I did it. to give her the ingredients for the potion. Now that I'm back in Kotomare, I can speak to the woman on the right, who is the one that gave us the quest in the first place to track down these soldiers. So by talking to her, we can finish up that quest. And then we can talk to Koloiti, who is the one that we're going to want to give the operation orders to. So very easy to finish up two quests, especially because these two are so very close to each other. And after you finish that little bit up, you're going to want to speak to Koloiti once again, and he's going to give you another quest which is why I decided to beeline it back to Kodomari straight away. Just because you need to come here and accept this quest from him. He's going to ask us to kill the enemy General Nurance, who is lying somewhere in Navy Blue Marsh. They don't necessarily specify, but luckily I know where to find him. So back out to the marsh we go. In order to find Nurance, we're going to have to go back exactly where we were when we started the video. He's hanging out around the pillar 
beside the Neko Neko settlement. So unfortunately, it is a lot of back and forth in order to finish these quests. Along the way, to go fight the general, I'm going to stop by the Neko Neko dwelling because we need to turn in the quest that we've completed for them. They asked us to collect some shards, and we have collected enough shards in order to finish this quest. So this is going to help them make more bombs, apparently, so that might be useful for both the Neko Neko people and us if they're going to keep supplying us with bombs, so that's good. Everybody wins. Once you've completed that quest, you can talk to the Neko Neko again for one more quest. Now that we've collected the shards, we're going to have to deliver the parcel with the shards in them to the Neko Neko village near Abazet Port the next time that we're near Abazet. So that's going to be a quest to sit in our quest log for a little while, but we'll get around to it eventually. Just make sure you accept it before you move on from Navy Blue Marsh so that you don't miss it. And of course you can only get that quest if you've accepted the other quest that the Neko Neko gave you. Now, am I near the pillar? Yes, I am. Okay. So now that we're back to where we started, I'm going to clear out all these little green guys first because they're all quite right. annoying. And they're probably just going to get in my way, which I don't want. They're quite a nuisance, but luckily we can take them out in three or four swings at this point. I went ahead off screen and I also did my common board for all of my weapons for my characters, which is something I always forget to do, but once I do it, I usually see a pretty big significant change in their weapons, especially if I've equipped them with strength calm or attack calm. So I'm hoping that's going to help us along a little bit here as we make our way through the marsh. And as you can see, the enemy general is over here, in this corner, and again, nothing special. He's obviously a lot tougher than the other regular Northern Forces soldiers, but if we just take a couple swings at him, it should be fine. I'm very frustrated that Argo is stuck on these ice flowers. We have no time for you to get stuck, Argo. I know you're big, but seriously, you get stuck on every obstacle. This guy is attacking us. Right. I'm going to freeze go. to death. Oi. Well, luckily Zephy's here to help me, but I would like to get Argo to help me because I would like to chain to get this guy defeated faster. So I'm just going to manually control care. Argo. Screw this. This is going to take way too long if I rely on crappy AI. And of course, another enemy has gotten in my way. For some reason, this guy manages to hide out among all these creatures, and they don't attack him, but as soon as you get close, they all get really close to you and all team up on you. Now, Judo has frozen okay. solid. And this is something that happens when you have the frost nip status on, which will turn into frostbite. And if you have frostbite, you'll freeze. So you can use a coldy cold when you get frost nipped to cure it and to also grant yourself immunity. Or you can get Zephy to cure it. Now, unfortunately, both Z Judo and Argo are completely frozen. So what I'm going to have to do is use Zephy and hope that I could cure one of them. I should also look at her skills. It looks like recovery will work. I can cure Argos. And uh, luckily you don't stay frozen for very long. But this guy does have the ability to freeze you. Uh, which can be pretty annoying. Especially if you are trying to chain and you are trying to defeat him. So use what items you have in your inventory to your advantage if you need to. 
and you may or may not have a common uh, in your inventory that will either protect you from frostnip or frostbite or at least help you prevent it. Juto, leave the rest to me. For one guy, he's sure giving me a lot of trouble. I must be rusty. This is what happens when you don't record for a very long period of time. We've got him trapped in a corner though, so that's good. There's not much he can do here. He's pretty much screwed. He's not going anywhere. A couple more swings and he should be dead. I also believe that when you have Frostnip, your stamina bar goes down a little bit slower, almost as if you're frozen. Or maybe that's just me being paranoid, I'm not sure. I'm going to heal up at the pillar, which will clear up all of my status effects. And now that I have done that, and we've turned in our quests over towards the Neko Neko people, and we finished all of that business, we can now head back to Kotomare. We can turn in all of our optional quests that we've done. And we can talk to Celestine in order to advance the story. Now that I've returned to the city again, we're gonna speak to Koloiti at the gate once we've killed Nurance. And we're gonna turn in the quest. He's gonna give us a Frostnip Defense Command, 1200 experience. <laughs> So you probably want to equip that comment uh, if you're having difficulties with the frostnip or frostbite status effect. I haven't checked to see if I have any equipment that will help me with that, but perhaps I should. I might have something in my inventory that I've picked up along the way as well. Over in the chief's house, we could speak to the Mari woman who was concerned about her brother. We spoke to him in the last video about wandering off. He was hanging out with the Neko Neko people. And finally, we can go and talk to Celestine. Before we do that though, I'm definitely going to check out the shop. We're not going to be in Kotamari for much longer, but if I'm going to keep getting slowed down by Frostnip and Frostbite, that's going to become very frustrating very fast, especially because Zephy doesn't seem to be generating enough con to keep up. So I think the common dealer is this woman here. So let's see what she's got for sale, seeing as how I have a lot of money saved up now. She doesn't seem to have any of the special ones for sale, but if you are working on your common board, she does have a large variety of really nice ones for sale. Uh, defense level 2 is really nice. Common of Courage is a really nice common to have. It gives you 5% HP and 5 agility increase, which is really quite nice. And Stamina and Stamina Recovery might be worth picking up if you're having troubles generating any sort of con. Now it doesn't look like I have anything that's going to protect me against Frostnip or Frostbite that I can craft either, which is a shame. So for now I'm going to have to stick to either buying items that are going to help me or just dealing with it or having Zephy heal it at this point. So what I'm going to do is go over towards Celestine's house. And in the next video, we'll speak to her and we'll get her to make us her super duper potion. So thank you for watching and I hope that I will see you all next time.